So it's your boy, Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This right here is a reaction to this viral video I watched by 16 to Life titled My Opinion on Dropout Channels. Now, my opinion on dropout channels varies from content creator to content creator. Because as the homie Chip points out, it's about credibility on here for me. It's about how credible a person is and whether or not they're 100 with their word or whether or not I have to take their word with a grain of salt because I'd rather not waste my time on someone when I have to question their sources and their resources and I have to consider, I have to question their methods because People have a tendency to still have the same traits that they did in prison. You know what I mean? They like to they like to, you know, drop kites on people without putting a name on it. That's what trolls do on here. That's the kind of game that certain people play. Now, that's the reputation that some people then pick up on here that becomes their reputation because they insist on playing games they insist on being the same problem child that got them to prison to begin with so for me personally i'm in search of titles i'm a content creator i have so many uh, subscriptions and certain people that I'm following and I watch that I gather content to based on relation, how relative it is to my story in real time and how it reflects on my history and what I hope to make of it. So that's why I put my name on it. I'm not a dropout channel in spite of the fact that I've been to PC. I was never validated a member of the Arizona Mexican Mafia, so I never debriefed. Never gave a statement to them in regards to that case. Yet, the highest ranking member of, that, of the Arizona Mexican Mafia gave a statement to the lead detective in that case in open court, claiming they were going to kill me because he believed that I was something I wasn't, which was an informant in that case. It's not conceivable with what they claim that I've done. Do you understand that? They claim me to be an active participant in murders that certain people are convicted of. I'm outstanding in capital crimes here in the state of Arizona because of what they said my involvement was. So to claim that I was something that you would have to have Come on, man. The deal that I would have to make with the state in order to tell that story wouldn't have been a secret ever. Wouldn't have been no confidential, nothing. And if you've watched me long enough, you know damn well it couldn't be true. And this is something that people knew then about it all. That that's neither here nor there. That member who would who is serving a natural life sentence in the Bureau of Prisons, fending the life of a 16-year-old high school football star and his father in New Mexico, and then, then gave a statement to prison officials and Big Sandy after he was attacked and then had to recant on the stand. He had to deny it. So... I don't know how you would define that, honestly. The reality of it is, is that I went on to other things. Because from there, when I get out, I end up crossing international lines and going messing with Macho Preto and others in the Sinaloa cartel. Neither here nor there. It's all about credibility, how credible one is with what their stories are telling. 
for me, it's a question of interest. If I'm not interested in the title and what someone's talking about, I'm not interested in prison myself. I'm not interested in prison story after prison story after prison story unless it's a title that gets me. Unless you're speaking about a certain arrogance, then, yeah, I check for titles in that regard, but sometimes it's clickbait. And that's another thing when it comes to these dropout channels is, is the games they play. Say what you mean, mean what you say. There'd be no question about it. But some of them, they're still in such denial because they intend to give the impression that they're still the big bad wolf. They're still capable of that. In spite of the fact that they've done what they did and everybody knows that if you wore a wire, you testified in criminal cases against the organization you belong to or if you call cops on them and shit like that, then, yeah, that's a whole different beast. You have a sealed deal with the U.S. federal government. Some are debriefers in prison, and I don't know. I'd have to check the policy on that. But yet and still, the substantive value of the characters of people when all they care to relate to is prison, in spite of the fact that they've been out decades, Some people seem to have no other life than that. Some people make a living off of those impressions and we know it. They seek to give an impression that, like I said, they're still the big bad wolf or they're still capable of being that big bad wolf. When in fact, when it came down to a pressure being plied and the, the fire being turned up under their feet, they folded. So we are, there's already a question of your character in that regard. So there's no point in that. It's like, it's like Chill said, I could never do it if that was the case with me. I would be gone away. I could never do that. I would humbly have to go away and get on about my life. But there are those who seem to think they're doing good. They're doing good for other content creators who are looking looking to that content to feast off of. But unless it unless there's unless there's value to it, unless there's a teachable lesson in it, then I don't subscribe. I don't tap in. I check the titles. I check the titles. My opinion on dropout channels, it's like I heard, I think it was Renegade Media say, um, in association, his reaction to the video was like, he he, he, he questioned the whole dropout notion. Or even, you know, what does that have to do with it yet and still? An honest man who is honorable is always going to be that. There's no need to question that. He has integrity. He values his word. Where some, they just click, they just, they're just chasing the story. They're just chasing the story and they and they clutch their pearls at each other. I I don't see men who've grown up and out of out of that place that they were when they dropped out. They never grew up and out of it. They dropped into it. They still play the role as if they're still that character. Many of them still, they all still keep the same names. So what does that say about them? But if that's what you want to do, that's what your channel's about, know that you're a character online that plays that role. Because then you're going to turn and say that that's not your life when you're offline. I'm the same regardless. That's not a claim that many can make. But like I said, 
you know, my story is what it is and people can judge it how they want. I don't even care about that. That doesn't matter. A man's word. What is he talking about? What is it going to teach me? Is it something that, that's going to teach me something that I could then pass on or not? Is it something worth listening to? Because I'm not interested in being entertained. I got work to do. I have work to do. Real life to make money, to put food on the table. Work to do, to exercise, to keep in physical fit, physical good physical health. You know what I mean? And, you know, I have work to do here on this YouTube channel amongst other things. Other relationships I have, other things I got going on. I got work to do. But I go live on location. And I say and do the same things. But this is Daniel Sizes Rose Grows in Stones. This is not a prison channel. I don't cater to that. They do. I know where I've been. I know what I'm about. And I get out and I show that. I'm out the box. I didn't fall into it like many of them. They dropped into it. They didn't drop out. They dropped into an abyss, a bottomless pit. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace! I'm out.